so my name is Shiro and I am what you call a lazy natural. Today's video is catering to my lazy natural gals and the purpose for today is to show you not only just my products but I'm going to be walking you through it and explaining exactly what I do, maybe even why I chose the products as well. So let's get into the bathtub. <laughs> So the first product which I'm introducing is the shampoo. So I use Tresemme uh, shampoo. The particular range is called Moisture Rich. I always get the biggest, um, the biggest uh, bottle because I just want to have one thing that I can use for as long as possible throughout the year without having going to go back to the shop. So when I shampoo my hair, I usually just do it twice. I only do two rounds. Um, and I focus it on my scalp in the hopes that when I start rinsing it out, it will then rinse out the rest of my hair. The reason I started using the shampoo was because of my experience using the conditioner. Um, how I came across this was there were two girls on YouTube, they had um, relaxed hair. There was a point, I think three, four years ago, where my hair felt like straw. I had done a protein treatment and my hair just felt very coarse. So I realized I put in too much protein. So I was figuring out how do I how do I get rid of the excess proteins and these girls recommended that I try this one out and let me just say when I used this thing I was like very rarely has a product left me like oh you work like I can feel a difference right and this one for me was the experience I have continued to use it throughout um, till now so I do trust it it's not um, amazing once you start using it uh, consistently because uh, I think the hair gets used to it but for me um, I wouldn't shy away from from giving it a try there are other conditioners that I use so here's the thing I like to rotate the conditioners I don't want that this week on wash day, I used this conditioner. Two weeks on my next wash day, I'm gonna use this conditioner. I don't do that. I rotate between this one and another one, which is from Palmer's. And I really like their conditioners as well. And it's able to stretch because I'm, you know, using them in rotation. The first thing I do is I oil my scalp and this is my scalp oil which is a concoction of my own oils. Uh, if you want to know what exactly is in this oil you can just let me know. But I always shake it because it is a mixture and I'm not sure if they separate. And I apply this on my hair every second day and I apply it to damp to my scalp when it's damp. So I'm just going to put a little bit more for my edges. For my edges. So this for me has been an absolute staple. Um, on Jackie's has been my go-to ever since 2019 when I text text my hair. It's because I find it moisturizing and um, affordable. Um, I would say it's not like it's not cheap but it's like a little bit average and above so because i'm moisturizing my hair daily like i said i mix my cream with water and i put it in a spray bottle i always make sure to shake it again and i just distribute it mostly on the ends but you have to make sure that the hair inside the extensions is well cared for I do worry about putting hair into protective hairstyles because I wonder will the hair, my hair, actually 
actually receive any moisture as it is getting lost amidst all the additional material. For me, this is the most important part because I think the area that we lack in the most is um, the consistency in between wash days. I end off with the sealing oil. I call it my sealing oil, but it's just called a natural grow oil blend. And this is what I apply on my hands. I'm not very heavy handed just because I'm gonna do this quite frequently. So I put it there. I'm focusing more on the ends. So that's pretty much it. I think it's basically one of the most simplest routines I've had. It's stress-free, um, it's consistent in the sense that I no longer have to think about what I'm going to do in the next wash day. I just know that, okay, we need to switch it up with this or that, and um, I'm going to be going on a one-year lazy natural hair journey. I've had these braids in for about um, three weeks, and they're starting to look nice today. So I'm going to have to refresh them, and that will take just a little bit of time because like I said, minimal effort. Um, but yes, uh, if you'd like to follow me for that journey, please consider doing the things. And till next time, I wish you the best.